Hi there, I'm playing with Golden Chunk again. In my previous video about gold recycling, in the comments some viewers asked me how pure my gold is that I recycled. Well, here it is. Um, and I had to say, I don't know, I, have, I had no way to test it. But meanwhile, I found an easy method how to test how pure gold is or any other metal. And the only thing you need is a good scale and a beaker of water. And how that works, I will show you right now. The first thing we need to know is the weight of the gold that we want to find out how pure it is. So we have here 66.4 grams. 66.40 grams. And the next value we need to know is how many cubic centimeters this has. Then with the two values we can uh, calculate the density and if it is pure gold, it is 19.3 gram per cubic centimeter. And if it's lower, then we will find out how pure it is then. The problem is, how do you measure the cubic centimeters of a shape like that? Well, in this case, it's relatively simple. It's more or less round. It's more or less flat, but it has cracks and stuff, so it's difficult to find out. But, as I said, we need a beaker of water. I tear this out, so we, I don't want to measure the water. If I add this, we again have 66.40 grams as we had before, so the scale is working. And what we also need is a piece of string, because I have to tie this around this piece of gold. Maybe a thin wire would also work, but I think a string is a little bit better. And with the cracks here, that's ideal to hang it on that string. So we could theoretically cut that away, but that doesn't make a big difference, believe me. So, what do we do now? I dump this into the water not touching anything, not the bottom of the cup or anything else. You see, if I place it in, we get again the 66.4 grams. But if I lift it just enough to be, we get 3.79 grams. And it doesn't matter if I hold it higher or lower. It just matters when I move it, but I, if I keep it... Yes. So that's 3.78 grams. Let's write that down. Okay, what happens? What we measure here is not the weight of the gold, it's the weight of the water that is displaced by the gold. So this chunk of gold here, well, I, wait, I have to do that properly. I removed a little bit of the water with my gold. So I have minus here, let's zero out that again. So what happens? If you look closely, the water level is rising a little bit when I dump this gold nugget into the water. So this nugget displaces 
3.8 grams of water. If I don't, if I let it down completely, I measure the weight of the gold. Now I measure the weight of the water that is displaced. And that's a good thing with water. Um, one gram of water is exactly one cubic centimeter. So if I measure 3.78 grams more of water because of the gold, that's exactly 3.78 cubic centimeters of gold that displaces 3.78 grams of water. So all I have to do now is to divide 66.4 by 3.78 and that is 17.56 gram per cube centimeter. That much. Well then, what does it mean? 17.56 gram per cube centimeter. Um, I have here a little chart that goes from top yellow gold to white gold, red gold and pure gold. And as you can see, pure gold is of course 19.33 gram per cubic centimeter. Um, I assume, or I, yes, I assume that my gold is probably most likely red gold, because red, red gold has a certain amount of copper in it, and I think copper is most likely the only foreign metal that I have in my gold, because I got it from PCB boards, and, um, well, they are made of plastic, copper and a thin layer of gold. Uh, there are no other metals involved. Maybe a little bit of tin or lead in, 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 the, in the solder, but I think uh, this is also dissolved by the iron chloride. So, yeah, maybe a little bit of the copper was stuck to the gold flakes. So we have red gold. If you look at the chart here, 750 purity or 18 carat or 75% of red gold would be 14.96 gram. I have 17.5 that is pretty close to the 916 purity or 22 carat red gold. So I may be a little bit lower than that, or I am a little bit lower than that. So maybe 900 to 910. That means the purity is 90 to 91 one percent. And I think for my simple method, this is pretty good. I must also say that the big lump here contains also a little bit of jewelry gold. So I melted an old ring into that. That ring had uh, was 750 gold, 75% gold. So that lowered probably the purity of this chunk of gold a little bit because I'm still higher than 750. That means the gold that I recycled was a better purity and the jewelry gold moved it a little bit down towards 750. But I have for example, this piece, which is only recycling gold, and I will repeat the measurement with that chunk here, and let's see 
how pure that is. Okay, so the weight of that piece is 17.59 17.59 gram and we do the same trick with the same water zero that yes just have to put the string around it so let's see if we still have the same weight with the water we had 59 now it's 62 there is a little bit dirt we also have yeah let's say 60 but who cares that's not so important now how much do we have here 0 0.91 let's try it again 0 0.91 let's take that 0 0.91 cubic centimeters and that will be 1759 0 0.91 divide wow 19.32 i think i have to repeat that again because that means that's 100% gold because 19.33 grams would be 100% gold. Hmm. Amazing. Let's try it again. I hardly believe that. So, how much is that? Okay, wait. Are we on zero? No, because the gold was wet when I took it out. Let's dry that off here. Okay, so that's 17 point. Okay, that's probably a bit more. That's even better. 17.62 grams divided by 0 0.92 went a little bit up 0 0.92 let's try that again 17.62 0 0.92 divide okay now it's 19.15 so however this measurement is not super accurate but um, yeah i can say we are over 19 so that's far better than 90 percent so we are going to be 99% pure gold or something maybe 98 but hey so that's the answer it is really pure gold at least this chunk here and if you look at it it has a little bit a different color this seems to be a little bit darker a little bit more ready okay that's not cleaned so I measured 17.7 on my old scale, that's not bad, it's 17.62, okay. And I assume that all the other chunks here are also pretty good, pretty pure, because I made them with the same, uh, with the same technique. So that's how you find out how pure the gold is you recycle it and by the way there are a lot of channels on youtube that tell you how to uh, how to make gold from recycling computer parts 
and they always assume that you get a, a lot and a bunch and a such bars and this is the work of two years. So I collected all the gold uh, PCB parts. I only uh, used gold fingers from RAMs and PCI cards and stuff like that. I didn't use uh, CPU pins or connector pins because they are far less gold and much more different materials. So PCB material is just plastic and a little bit of copper and almost the same amount of gold for this uh, contact edges. Um, yeah, so that's two years of work. So it's not from one day to the other. It takes time and well, I'm a professional IT technician and I have my sources where I can get stuff like that from. If you're doing it as a hobbyist, you probably get that much in a year, maybe. But anyway, that's... let me see how much is that. Uh, let's zero that again. So for example, you get that. It's 10 grams. One gram at the moment is about $55,000, I don't know what's the actual price. So that's probably $500. Yeah. One kilogram is 50,000. So that's 500. Well, it's nice to have it. And that's, of course, a little bit more. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.